Talking about Americans, obviously, we've got to talk about the big fight in America this weekend. Deontay Wilder putting his WBC title again on the line against uh, the Lydian champion Tyson Fury. Uh, Dylan, talk to me about he's that. He's still Lydian champion. Why do you keep saying Lydian? He's he, not Lydian champion anymore. He's a former Lydian champion. Fair yeah, exactly. Lineal uh, I don't know why everyone's a Lineal champion. He's a former Lineal champion. But he, he was the man to beat the man. That's, that's yeah, cool. but then he threw his whole career away. Okay. <laughs> you know, he was the man to beat the man. He had the whole world in his hand and he threw everything away. You talk to me about that fight. Uh, it's, it's an interest for a lot of people are saying Tyus Fury is maybe coming a lot earlier from his comeback to fight such a big mm -hmm. opponent. You know, I give Tyus Fury a lot of credit, you know. I ain't got no true beef with Tyson Fury. You guys are alright. I mean, the guy used to be alright, but he said with boxing, he talked smack to me, and I rolled up on him and get um, back, you know. But you have to give him credit. He fought two absolute cabbage, coming for three year layoff, and he stepped on fight Dante Wilder. I mean, say he doesn't respect Dante Wilder, he doesn't fear him. And he may say he's got bottle, and he's willing to fight. And that Dante Wilder, who's been champion for two, three years, and I haven't fought no one in that time, you know. So credit due to Tyson Fury. And I actually do hope he wins. I hope he wins, you know. I actually hope he wins, you know. So one of them fights that I'm on the fence because part of me is saying Wilder because Wilder's got punch power and he's been active. He might have fought cabbage and tomato cans, but he's been active and Tyson Fury's been off for a long time and he didn't particularly look good, great in the last two fights and he's losing a lot of weight, which he need time to lose the weight properly and build muscle properly, you know. He looks good, he looks slim, but is he weight draining the soul to look good and the skills so people to say good things are, you know, so. I don't know. I'm definitely in the fence, but I tell you what, Tyson Fury is British. I back him. I back any British fight against their fight. It doesn't matter what they had to say, you know what I mean? I, I hope he, he does win and he's a credit to box on like the Ente Wilder because he will actually fight people. That's why he's fighting the Ente Wilder. The Ente Wilder is a piece of shit. What do you make of sort of Tyson Fury's story in regards to him having this layoff? But there was a lot of stuff that he came out with in an interview with like Joe Rogan and whatever else that he had mental health issues. He nearly committed suicide as well. But he's got himself to this point where he's fighting for a world title again. I don't know and I don't care about all that. That's his problem. You know, that's his problem. You know, if I was in the position he was in, I'd be jumping for joy. I'd have gone to Germany and beat Vladimir Klitschko. I wouldn't care about nothing else. I'd have, I'd have gone into camp and trained hard and try and you know try and continue that legacy you know what i mean there's something he had everything to be but i don't know his story i don't know what happened and all these things but you know he was on top of the mountain he was on top but sometimes when you're on top of the mountain there's only one one way to go and it's down if you haven't got the mental stability and the other things in place there's only one way to go is down and it's a, it's a very very thin peak if you slip you're screwed you know but i don't know his story i can't say too much and um the main thing is he's back and he's still got bottle, you know. Um, I obviously want to talk about so the WBC ranking. Now, so every time your name gets mentioned, this WBC ranking gets mentioned, and the sort of sort of mess at one point where we didn't know who the mantri was and what, what was going on with that. What's the situation with you and this whole WBC ranking? And when do you see yourself fighting for that belt? I don't know, man. Ask my is just when you see, man. Are you frustrated with the situation? I'm not even frustrated no more, bro. I just get on with life, man. I'm just saying, living my best life. <laughs> That's all. I'm just out here trying to live my best life, man. I don't really. It is what it is, isn't it? Um, then talking about that fight, would you want to face the winner? Is that is is that somebody that you'd push out for the winner of that fight and fight for that green belt? I both push out for both of them already. I've been trying to fight Tyson Fury. I've been trying to fight Deontay Wilder. What, what more can I do? When was the Tyson Fury one? When when did you chase Tyson Fury? I've been trying to fight. I don't you don't you watch social media? And, I do, but stuff. like it hasn't been as public as the one. Next time you see Eddie, and I said you and I know will tell you the story about Tyson Fury. I've been trying to fight Tyson Fury for ages. You know, I called him out, I said, if he wants it, he can have it, you know. But Tyson's doing his thing, man. I'm happy for him. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say this and say that about him. It's his, it's his big week, you know what I'm saying? You know, and he's British, Irish, you know, so I'm going to support him, you know what I mean? It's, you know, I'm glad he's, you know, he went to the brink of destru destruction and he clawed it back and he pulled himself back together. So I'm happy for him. I, I'm generally, I, I'm generally like, Deep down, happy for him and hope he he does well. You know, hopefully, no one robs his money and he you know win lose or draw makes good money. He can look after his family. At the end of the day, he's a family man. He's got a family to feed. You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm actually happy for him.